Hello and welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe? Well, guess what? I have another pen for you and I'm so excited about this one because this one I've been looking out online on all kinds of different sites for about a year and I'm going to unveil it. I have not inked it. I just pretty much opened it out of the package and it is the Pilot Lucina or Luchina, I think. I don't know. I'm going to call it the Lucina. And it is just a gorgeous pen. This one is in the red. It's available in black, red, blue, and yellow. Actually, it was available. So this is a pen that's no longer made by Pilot. And it was made in the 90s. I want to say 1999. That has something on there. Hmm. Can you see it? Look at it. Let me, let me zoom in here. So there's like some yucky stuff right there. I don't know if it's corrosion or whatever, but I haven't really paid much attention to this yet other than just open it up to make sure that the pen is in one piece. And I got a set. So this is a pencil and that is a pen. I am not actually interested in the pencil, although I love me a good set, I have to say. And uh, it came nicely bubble wrapped in a box. But this is the one that I am really interested in because I got it with the sticker on the top. And I think in my other video, I said how I felt about the stickers. So on the sticker, it says that this is a fine and I'm just going to go through this a little bit. So like I said, this pen is no longer made, but um, it is not an entry level pilot pen. And I'm going to go through some other things um, like comparisons in just a minute. This pen has a larger nib than their entry level. And I'm going to compare it to, so I have my, my stash of pilots in here and I have my favorite, which is Metropolitan. This is pretty much kind of what one of the ones that I started my modern collection off with. I, I've i written with fountain pens since I was five years old. Just in my country, they kind of start you young. And um, well, the country that I used to live in, I live in the States now. So anyway, uh, the Metropolitan is an entry level. It's what I recommend for anybody who's looking to get into fountain pens, mainly because once you get in with this, you're not turning back. And Metropolitans are fantastic pens. And so the nib is just a tad bit bigger. I want to say maybe like 10% bigger. And the feeds are different. So you see this, the straight lines, whereas the Lucina has this, you know, has the, the fins or the gills in there. This pen this one did not come with a converter uh, it wasn't advertised with one anyway online i've read where people have um eyedroppered this i'm not about to do that but i am going to talk about converters in just one minute so let me get some specs and some comparisons all right that was magical i went ahead and grabbed a bunch of my pilot pens and just the ones out of the case and also my 74 custom 74 so that you could see and I'll compare nibs as well. This one, while it is capped, is right at about 5.1 or 4.6. Yeah, 5.1. This is a little bit larger at about 5.6. That's the custom heritage 74. And then this is my Metropolitan, which is similar to the 74, but is coming in like at five and a half. This is the Kakuno, and that is shorter. In fact, I would say that is about, no, that's bigger than this one. No, that's about the same size. So just for your um, comparisons, this is about the same size as, let me zoom in. Let me zoom in for you. Did you even catch any of that? I don't know. Sorry about that. Let's see. All right. So um, Kakuno and the Lucina look like they're about the same. Put it next to it like that. How's that? So that is the same. The next one that people compare it to is the Prera. Get out of the way. There we go. And as you can see, the Prera is much shorter. So that's about 4.8. So here's the length. The 74 is much longer 
And then finally, you have the Metropolitan, which is kind of in between. There we go. Just like that. All right, so there's the comparison. Again, Lucina, Pereira, Kakuno, Metropolitan, and the 74. So let's take a look at this uncapped. So uncapped, it's right at 4.6. My Prera is just a teeny tiny pen. That's about 4.2. Kakuno is actually a nice size. This is, I always forget, is this? No, that just pops off. There we go. Golly tamale, I got everything going on here. And they're just all, I don't want them bumping into one another but hence here we are okay okay so now you can see a little bit more in terms of just sizes and uh, they are Lucina Prera Kakuno Metropolitan and Custom 74 Okay, so let, while I have them all uncapped, let me just do a comparison of the nibs. So here's the Lucina with a Prera. So you can see that the Prera is about the same size, I would say, as the Metropolitan. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. So you can see those three there. Don't know if that helps. And then you can see also the feeds. So Prayer Metropolitan are the same. So Metropolitan about 25, Prayer about 30, 35, depends on where you get it. So those are kind of similar. Then I have the Kakuno, which is also about the same as the Metropolitans and the others. And that has the same feed also. So Kakuno is less at about what, 12, 13 bucks. And then the Custom Heritage 74. So let me put this one here. So hopefully, oh golly, can you see the nibs here? There we go. I might try to take a picture of that as well and then post it so that you can have that comparison. So if you take a look at that, these three have very similar feeds, whereas, so I'm gonna put those down, those are not inked. And then these two look very, very similar back here. So what's interesting about that comparison though, for me, is that with the Lucina, you are looking at, I think the price point when it was first offered was 85 bucks. So that's a, that's a pretty pricey pen um, that you, are not getting a gold nib. Um, this is actually a steel nib that is gold plated. So I, I mean, it's not, it's, I mean, is that the same? I don't know. Maybe you can tell me, is that the same thing as a gold nib? Um, so that is a gold plated nib, uh, but it is a steel. Um, so, uh, you know, I don't really know. A lot of people say that once you write with it though, then you'll know. So let's, let's do that. And you know what? I think that the nice thing is that this, I believe is finally, I'm gonna grab this and see. Can you see that? Yup. Okay. So there's the up close of the nib. And then the pen as well. And I'll flip it and then you can see both here. All right, so let me get this one inked up. And before I do that, let me talk to you about converters because I had to do some research on that as well. So um, I believe that from what I found, this Expensive pen actually comes with a squeeze converter, which I have a Con 40 in here. So let me take that out. Do 
Can I have a Conporti in the other one too? I'm just trying to do this in video at the same time. It's next to impossible. Let's see what I have in here. Nope. That is a just a empty cartridge. So I don't have a squeeze converter in either one. Okay, so just imagine I had a squeeze converter for the Lucina. That's what it would normally come with. But why are you not coming out? There we go. All right. So this is a Con 40, which definitely fits. So that's good news, right? And then in the Kakuno, I actually have a Con 50 in here. So this also fits, which is so nice. So you have an option of what, which converter you would like to use. And I, for this demonstration, I'm just gonna stick with the Con 40. So we are gonna do this. We're gonna fill this guy up with the Diamine Blood Orange, because look, it just kind of matches, doesn't it? All right, let's do that. So while I'm inking this up, I do have to say that my husband's been wanting the Pilot Urushi. And so when I got my Lucina with this gorgeous red color, he kind of flipped out and wanted the Urushi. And the thing of it is, which just kind of cracks me up, is that the Yurushi is, I don't know, put like a zero at the end of this pen, right? So it's kind of pricey, whereas this one is not. So you can find it on um, used sites for about 75, 85 bucks. Now I did get my pen and pencil set, so what am I doing? There we go. All right. So let's see, I'm going to do a comparison also between that and the Custom 74. I think I might leave that for, well, I don't know, I can do it here. I won't make you watch another video. All right, so let's just use it on regular old paper. And this is the Pilot. Oh, by the way, it's writing right off the bat. Lucina with a F nib and today is the 26th 23. all right so let's um write down the ink color dye mine blood wash and Okay, I have to tell you, so I love the Custom 74, just love it. I love the A23, love that. I love the Metropolitan, and I love the Prera, and I love the Kakuno. This nib writes very differently than the Prera, than the Metropolitan, and the Kakuno, and I don't know why. This feels just like a Custom 74. So no feedback, like hardly any. Getting to the end of my cheap pad here. What am I going to do? There's no bleed through, it's a fine, so kind of expected. And let's see, is that the one? No, that's not it. It's right here. I have all my pads with me, just gonna grab all of them, the whole stack. So let's see. Oh man, that writes even better on this Rhodia dot pad. Okay, I understand what the fuss is all about.
the feet keeps up when you're making squiggles kind of fast. So it writes extremely well. Uh, it's very hard to tell the viewer on a video how this thing writes, but if you are familiar with Pilot Pens, I am going to tell you that it really does parallel and it kind of mimics, oh, there's a scratch there. It um, mimics the, okay, it's not a scratch. It's just something. It mimics the um, 74. So I'm just gonna look at the lines here and the line variation is about the same. In fact, it looks almost identical. So I've been using this quite a bit, especially for work-related notes and such. So I will be using this one as well, but look at how beautiful this writes. I mean, it just glides over paper. It's just wonderful. And by the way, this pen, oh, that's so great. So anyway, uh, if you haven't seen the video for the Pilot Custom A23, the FA nib, I have that. And if you have some comments on this Lucina pen, let me know. There's also another one called the Pilot Acrino. You know, you are literally Alice and you go down the rabbit hole and now I'm looking at the Carino. I don't know anything about it, but if you know something about it, why don't you just, actually, why don't you just keep it to yourself? I don't really need to know. <laughs> I don't know. It's just kind of an obsession, isn't it? It just, um, one thing leads to another and there, you know, that's, that's just what happens to you. You just kind of end up in, in a place and, uh, I gotta say, I guess there's worse obsessions, but let me know what you think of the Lucina. Let me know what you think of any of my pilot lineup. And uh, I hope that I get some sort of comments from you because I am really curious to see what you think about this pen. And uh, until next time, bye.